So today is the morning of the transfer portal. Who do you think is going to be the big winners and the losers in the SEC? Will few freeze be able to hit it off and running? Will Saban keep everybody happy there with all the coaching changes going on? Will Georgia continue to look like anything less than Darth Vader these days? You know, if, if, if Saban was the emperor, you know, Kirby is Darth Vader these days. Um, will Lane keep it together at Ole Miss? Will Jimbo manage to not lose half the class? I really do see a big problem, though, coming with a 12-member playoff. I really think these kids are going to start opting out, especially when they're super seniors. Who wants to break their leg right before they make $10 million? Um, I think we're going to probably either have players unions or some kind of sharing project going on or something in the next few years because we're asking more and more of these kids. And yeah, they're getting a little with the NIL and a few of them are getting real big. But you can pay them real big and they can still opt out of those games at the end. It is the way of the world. There is no loyalty to these schools the way they were because of everything we've had happen in the last few years. You know, it's sad but true. I think the bowl game winner is Alabama, which is going to go to New Orleans and have a good time instead of getting stomped by Georgia. Because I think at the end of the day, everybody's going to get stomped by Georgia. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Michigan or Ohio State has it but I think everybody's going to get stomped by Georgia. Um, let's all have a good day out there. No nuclear war, no civil war. Um, let's play nice and try to get along. And remember, everybody screws up. Everybody, all of us, me too, mostly. I screw up every day. So let's just love on each other and try to be good people. It, it, it sucks. And I men often have selfish motives, you know, they, they taught us in AA, you know, the only way we get to keep it is giving away. So I, I, I give shit away because I want to keep it. Oh, I bet I cussed and I won't be able to put that as a kid's only now. But anyway, maybe YouTube won't notice that since probably nobody will ever see this until I keep doing this for like 10 years. And people go back to the beginning of my post and they think, what was that crazy girl saying when she started doing that? That's what I was saying. My shirt today is a favorite. It's from the last time Gus Malzahn beat Nick Saban. It was one hell of a game. I went with my niece. We had the best time. The two of us and my friend Ginger. We saw Waddle run over us all day, and Bo Nix in his freshman year still managed to do it. Not my favorite Iron Bowl, but one of my favorites. Y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.